How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can check the real battery health maximum capacity of your iPhone. And I say that because when you go to settings and then we scroll down and tap on battery and here we have battery health and charging, we have the indication of the maximum capacity right here. But what if I tell you that generally or pretty much always this number is wrong? This is not the actual maximum capacity of my iPhone and the same applies to your iPhone. So today I'm going to show you how you can check how really healthy your iPhone battery is. And we're going to do that by checking the battery cycles. So let's see the actual battery cycle count and I'm going to show you how to do that and it's super, super easy. So all you have to do is go to the first screen here of your settings and then you're going to scroll down until you see privacy and security and then scroll all the way down until you see analytics and improvements and then analytics data right here, second option. So then you'll see a bunch of stuff, a bunch of different files, datas and reports. And the one that we want is the one that says analytics. And as you can see, there's quite a lot that says analytics, but the one that we want is the most recent one. And as you can see, it's a date right here after analytics. So 2022, December the 1st. And as you can see, if you scroll down a little bit more, we have 2022, December the 7th. And today, as the recording of this video, is December 8th. So then this is yesterday, super recent. So we can pick that because we can see the cycle count of yesterday. So it's the most updated that we have. So tap here. And then as you can see, it's kind of scary. It's a ton of data right here, but don't worry because it's super easy to find. All you have to do is tap and hold at the beginning. Okay, so tap and hold. And then of course, we're gonna hear select the text so then you can pull down this handle and then same thing here grab the top handle and move all the way to the top and then with this bottom handle right here we can move all the way down okay and then just wait hold there wait it's super fast as you can see i'm holding as you can see i'm holding on the screen and then i have it right here as you can see and then of course you can just slide up just a bit so then you can just grab it and then copy and select actually the rest. So then we have selected everything from the bottom to the top, okay? Super easy. Now, copy, and then let's open up our notes app. Tap on notes, and then open up a new blank note, and then tap on it, and then just paste what we just copied. And then after a few seconds, it's a lot of text. As you can see here, we have all of it. And then tap on the three dots right here at the top, to find in note because we need to find for a specific text. So just type it in last. So L A S T underscore value. So value and then underscore once again and then cycle. There we go. And then as you can see here after last underscore value underscore cycle count because that's what we want. We have. 121. So as you can see here, 121 cycles, my iPhone battery has gone through 121 cycles. But what does it actually mean? So if we open up Apple support website, as you can see right here, and scroll down on this huge page, as you can see, Apple says that a normal battery is designed to retain up to 80% of its original capacity at 500 complete charge cycles which means that after 500 cycles, your battery's maximum capacity should be at around 80%. And then if we do some quick math, and of course I've done some calculation, and I have here that it means that my iPhone's maximum capacity is at precisely 95.16%. Of course, I'll have this formula, is a pretty simple calculation, but I'll have it here in the description if you wanna check it out on yours, okay? It's a very simple math. So then, if we go back again to settings, we'll see that my iPhone maximum capacity is at 800%. So how can it be at 100% if my iPhone has gone through 121 cycles? And that's why I said, that's how you actually calculate your actual battery health maximum capacity by checking your iPhone battery cycles. So then, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one as usual. Bye-bye, guys.